we would like to go for this. Write a program to ask three real numbers, uh, to user to answer three real numbers from 0 to 100, then display the average of these numbers, then display sorry if the average is less than 60 or congratulations otherwise. Yes. Okay, so we'll get back to that. Let's just do it step by step. The first step is to create the project. And we first of all, you know, close all. So I'll close everything and then I'm going to create a new project. Week four, exercise number two. And now in that exercise number two, I am going to use the scanner because I need to read something from the user. And don't forget to always import and then uh, key B or whatever input or we'll give it a name that makes sense to you new scanner system.in and semicolon now I need to read three real numbers so three real numbers between 0 and 100 mm. okay how can I make sure it's between 0 and 100 but nobody I mean we did not do anything about it, but now let's just assume that the user is going to be asked to put a number between 0 and 100 and he will comply and give us between 0 and 100. So let's then declare three variables, uh, n1, n2, let's say, uh, n2 and n3. Why double? Because, because I asked you to make them real numbers so that's why i'm forcing it to use double or float you can use float if you want to right mm, i'm just it has to be either float or double but if you use int that would not be correct because you're not respecting the specifications that were given to you so now i'm going to ask the user to give me an average because i would like to calculate the average and save it somewhere so i don't have to save it somewhere but i just to make it easy I'm doing that I am going to ask the user to enter please enter three real numbers between 0 and 100 so I'm not going to check if it's between 0 and 100 because of the um, the question first doesn't ask you to check but it just expect to have an, the numbers to be between 0 and 100 and just I'm just telling the I mean this uh, user that what this is what I'm expecting him to give me so this is done I'm going to have n1 is equal to to what dot next double what if I put next float is it okay Float, can I put it in double? Yes, because float is smaller. Can I put a smaller data type in a bigger data type? Yes, I can. The other way around will not be okay. If, uh, for example, I use next double and then my variables were float, now this is going to be not okay. Because double is bigger than float and I try to put a bigger value into a smaller cup. So that's a smaller holder cannot hold. If you define them as int, yes, and all use it uh, as double. Well, same problem. Int is smaller, and you try to put a bigger value into a smaller holder. Well, I mean opposite. The opposite is okay. If it was double and you read an int, that's okay. If you really have a double and then you are reading an int, yes, that's okay because int is smaller, and then you can put a smaller value into a bigger container. Sorry. Yes, the user now will input an int. What do you mean it's not correct? It is correct. Yes, if you enter in the out, I mean in the execution of the program, if you give a, an int a, a double while you were asking to get next int, like for example here, now if you put 1.5 or 1.2, this is going to raise an exception because it's expecting to read an int, but then you put uh, something else. So, yeah, this is not going to be working for what we expect. Okay, so now we would like to read the double, and we're going to read three of them. N1, N2, N3. Now, after reading those, I just need to calculate the average by having this N1 
plus n2 plus n3 divided by 3. Should I put 3.0 or 3? Is it an n divided by n if I don't put 3.0? No, they are double, so I don't need to put this at 3.0 because double divided by n is going to be double. So if you put 3.0, that's not wrong, but it's just not necessary. And because we're lazy, we don't want to type a lot. So the less we type, the better it's going to be. So we can avoid typing the point zero. OK. Now that we have that, I need to ask a question. Because I said that we're going to be displaying, sorry if the average is less than 60, or congratulations otherwise. So if, well, first of all, it says I need to display the and then display the average. So first of all, I need to display it. So not to display. So I'm going to say the average is and then plus average. So I display the average. Then I'm going to ask, you see, you have just to follow the steps. Then display the average of these numbers. Then display, sorry. So there's a sequence of display. So if you display sorry and then the average, it's not exactly as was mentioned. So you're not going to be having the full mark. But it's very close to it. But you don't want to just be losing fair, even if 0 0.1 just for um, something that you don't pay attention to. Just pay attention would get you the full mark much easier. So now, uh, average takes only one R. And <coughs> I'm going to ask a question. What's my question? What my Boolean expression would be? Average less than, less than 60. Because if you just would like to ask the same way, then the display, sorry. And if it was less than 60. So it says that uh, display, sorry, this is the message that needs to be displayed with the exclamation mark if the average is lesser than 60. So is the average less than 60? What I'm going to do, I'm going to display, sorry. Otherwise, I'm going to display congratulations with the exclamation mark again if it's. Well, that's a good point. Not really. But let me just put this yeah but in this case it doesn't make a difference when you run it it doesn't matter yes so if I run this now <coughs> now I'm not looking at the sequence for example for here I have to be sorry first and then if I, you can swap it no problems but let's talk about when I swap it what would happen this is what I'd like to talk about actually later so now if I put like different values uh, what are the values Sorry? 33? 24? 70? How would you calculate the average of that? How would you know that the average is correct? Let me just give you another way to do that. Let's just put values that you know that you can calculate the average of. Like, for example, 60, 70, 80. What's the average of that? It should be 70 because you just this is going to be 70. So if I click here, I press enter, the average is 70, and then I can see congratulations. Uh, always try to put some values to make sure that when you test your software, make sure it does what it means to be doing. Well, put values that will help you check that. Don't put random things because you will never know if there was a mistake in the calculation. So now let's put something bef below 60. Put 10, 20, 30, for example. And it says sorry. Now, what if it's 60? And for example, 60, 60, 60 will give you the average of 60. What should I see normally based on the question? It should be congratulations. Would I have congratulations? No. Is 60 less than 60? No. So if I 60 less than 60, the answer is yes or no? If it's the answer is no, where am I going? So I'm going to be showing congratulations. So always, don't get fooled. Always answer the question in the Boolean expression by yes or no. If it's yes, you go to the then. If it's no, you go to the else. Don't try to guess things. In this case, yes, because of this question. Now, if I would like to flip the question and I'd like to have, for example, sorry in the else and uh, congratulations in the int. Oh, it doesn't want to go down. And what about if I'd like to do something like this? 
Now what I need to do, I need to change this Boolean expression. This question needs to change. So it should be bigger. Now if I make it bigger, that's not accurate because if I put 60, is 60 greater than 60? No, so now 60 will give me? Sorry, so that's not enough. The better way is to say greater or equal. Because the opposite of less than is greater than or equal. Well, that's math. The opposite of greater or equal is less than. That's the... So how can I represent greater or equal? Just do this. This means greater or equal. And don't do this, because that's not OK. The equal comes after the order sign. So it's either lesser than less or equal, or greater than equal. And we've just seen now, or previously, that there was double equal to, ma to mention that if they are equal. So we have less than, greater than, equal, like this, and then greater than or equal, lesser than or equal. So now, if it's greater or equal to 60, I can display congratulations. Else, display sorry. Now these two programs, the, this one and the one that I had before, these two ifs actually, are exactly the same, gives the same result, even if they are written differently. And this is the beginning of making, having different versions of the same solution. So let's say version 1, for example, and this is version 2. It gives the same result, but it's written differently. I mean, let me just write it differently. This is how it was written before. This was sorry before, and sorry here, and congratulations here. So this thing here gives me exactly the same result as this thing. The proof, because I always want to see proof, I'm going to display that. Version 1 and version 2. Why I would like to display them? Just to see if they really work the same way. And I'm going to try with different numbers. Let's say this uh, 70, uh, 70, 70, which is going to always give me the average of 70. With the version 1, it's congratulations. With the version 2, it's congratulations, which basically is the same thing. Now, what if I put something 0, 0, 0? All of them are going to be the average 0. All of them are sorry. Now, it's always good to test the borderline. There's something that is really in between. The 60 is a nice value to test with. And now 60, both of them should give me congratulations, which is OK. Now, if I move this, I remove this equal, now it's not the same. And that's not what I want. I want them to be exactly the same. So the equal sign is really important. You see now version 2, bec bef because I removed the equal sign, is not giving me the right answer. It should be congratulations. Why? Because we expect from 60 and above to be like the pass rate, the pass percentage. So this is two different. These are two different ways how to do exactly the same thing. And that's one thing that you need to live with. Now you can have many different versions of the same problem, different solutions for the same problem, and that's okay. So that's uh, the end of this story. Do you have any questions?